So one of the things I've always had to do, whether it was when I was creating online courses or now in my educational work for Glide is create tutorials on complex topics. Now it's easy to create a tutorial that is just a simple walkthrough on something. And many of the content that you, much of the content that you see out there is of that style. But one of the things that I pride myself on is creating really concise, in-depth, highly structured educational material on sometimes complex topics, because there's nothing worse than trying to learn a complex topic and watching a video where someone's waffling around and it takes two or three minutes to get to the actual point. And it's actually quite hard to construct the plan for these videos. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my process for doing this because I've refined it a lot recently. And even though it's not super fast to be able to create these, the results are always pretty comprehensive. And I always feel very confident when going going into production with, as opposed to going into production while still kind of working it out. So the basic process for me is always to start with research, right? And this actually starts with things like ChatGPT, talking with colleagues, reading documentation and messing around. And at that stage, what I'm doing is just capturing information. But the core tool that's changed my work there recently is a tool called Super Whisper. So if you go to superwhisper.com, you'll see information about this. It's basically a dictation tool using the Whisper model from OpenAI. And it's radically changed the way that I work because if I see something here or I'm reading something there, I'm just dropping notes into an area, like a note taking tool. For me, I'm always using Notion because it's also not just a note taking tool. It's also a great outlining tool, which I'll talk about in a minute. So that's chatting with ChatGPT, again, using this sort of really simple dictation. Uh, imagine we're in ChatGPT now, I can just say something like, hey, I'm thinking about this topic, I'm not totally sure what it means, I've kind of heard things about this, and someone's mentioned that, and someone's also mentioned this, and what does that mean, and can you break this down for me, I don't even know what the question is. And that was really easy for me to kind of articulate, and AI, particularly ChatGPT and GPT-4 at the moment, is really good at taking that unstructured, <laughs> very naive, confused information and coming, kind of getting to the, the nub of, or the, the crux of what it is that you actually are asking or should be asking if you don't even know how to ask the question. So as you can see here, I'm not going to read through this, it's pretty accurate, right? And you don't have to worry about dictating in a kind of really robotic way and I've spent my life, I don't know about you, if you if you've ever if you have ever used dictation in the past, it's really gotten a whole lot better recently with with open AI models and and all the other people that are doing it. Um, so anyway, Super Whisper is an incredible tool and it features at every part of my workflow with the planning stage. It can also uh, take uh, transcripts of videos as well, which can be really useful. So this combination of like transcribing either me or tutorials that I'm watching and then digesting with that, that with AI is the first part of the story um, or the planning process. It's also with messages and reading documentation, uh, things like that, chatting with colleagues. The next stage is about getting all of that information into a kind of structure. And this is where the very, very simple tool of outlining becomes incredibly powerful. So an outline is just something where you say uh, item one, item two, and then sub item one. And this is a sub sub item one and etc. This would be sub sub item two, etc, etc. It's a way to kind of nest stuff. And in Notion, what's really powerful about this is you can just move stuff around. You can add lots of different things in here like images, audio files. And this is a bit like mind mapping, but in a much more sort of structured, uh, in my mind, linear way from top to do top to bottom. And this is very much how I think about educational content, that there's a hierarchy. You want someone to start, if you're, especially if you're delivering something in a video, you want someone, to, you're going to say like, what am I going to say at the beginning? What's going to come next? And often, particularly with complex topics, when you're thinking about the sort of the dependencies of someone's knowledge, you're going to need to reorder that as you go, because you get to further along in the video and you start talking about this thing and you realize, hang on, Hmm. At this point in the learning management system um, that Glide has, like someone won't have learned this topic because that's in the advanced stage. So we need to add this here and put this before that. So this is really the process that I have. It's going from kind of rough uh, AI driven dictation notes into a kind of outline. The next stage is a kind of loom and you can see these here. This, If I go to this loom here, this is just a loom that I sent to some of my colleagues um, <laughs> who are reacting to certain things that I'm saying and then coming back with really, really good 
responses based on the holes in my thinking. So what that is, is me saying, okay, this is the video I think I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to say and in what order. And because these people are usually experts, um, either Kate, my line manager, or some experts on our team like Darren and Robert and other people like that and Mark, um, they come back with really good stuff. And then I'm at this point where we've locked the outline and I know exactly how I'm going to produce this video. Then it's just kind of like the mechanics. So the next stage is then, of course, the scripting stage, right? So we've locked it at the outline and that is something that has massively changed the speed and the, the kind of like robustness of the videos that I create over the years is locking a video at outline. And then it's just about going to the scripting stage. And this is again where dictation and AI come back really well, because if you're not necessarily a good writer or you are quite verbose in the way that you write, you write too much, then uh, you can use AI to kind of like pull that back down. So as you can see here, what I've got is I've got the two videos that are highly related at the moment for Glide Education, user profiles and roles. Uh, and I've been outlining them both and trying to work out like what to say in this one, what to say in that one, you know, which order to put them in. And now I'm fleshing out the script from those outlines. And basically these outlines here become your headings usually. Um, so you can see uh, we've got a kind of introduction here. We've got caveats, setting up user profiles. And sometimes at this stage, what you'll end up doing is you'll, you'll be defining the information in a lot more detail, right? Because you'll actually be using the product. You can't see, but on a screen down here, I've actually got glide as I'm writing this script. And I'm just testing that everything that I'm saying in this script is actually working. And nine times out of 10, it is because I'll have been able to visualize how it's going to work in this outline stage, which is why it's so useful. And so I can just kind of dictate the script and ask AI, if you're in notion, you can do things like you can ask AI to like improve the writing that you've just dictated, which is really powerful and, and quick. Um, but one time out of 10, let's say, I'll, I'll start writing the script and I'll be like, ah, I've missed a logical step here, right? Like I've, I've assumed that I've done this or I've assumed that this is the way that glide works and it doesn't, right? So then it's kind of back to the outline briefly to kind of rejig something and then sort of rewrite it here. And then the kind of final thing, right, is about storyboarding. A storyboard is a bit of a, uh, a posh term to use here for a tutorial. It's not really a, tutor a, a storyboard, but particularly when you're doing complex things with a tutorial or in a product or, or you're kind of doing lots of things that you can need to show lots of things over a tutorial. One of the things I found really great about Notion is the fact that you can upload screenshots in comments, right? So I know roughly what I'm going to be showing here. I know roughly what I'm going to be showing here, but I kind of want to remind myself so I don't have to go through that thinking process again. And also on my second monitor right down here, as I'm writing the script, I'm doing the thing, right? I'm building the app. I'm building that stage in the tutorial. Um, and so there we go. So I've just taken a screenshot to kind of help my brain remember, oh yeah, I'm going to show that at that point. And that's the structure of the app that I'm building. So I hope this is interesting to you. It's definitely helped me a lot the kind of tools of outlining as the kind of core place where you design the project. And then the kind of the, the tools on the other side of that, which is of course, ChatGPT, but the dictation aspect of that is really powerful. Being able to dictate ideas, transcribe meetings and stuff like that, pull it all into a certain place and then refine it with an outline or if you want with AI.